Are you crazy about brunch? Well, so are Washingtonians. dc -ish just came out with its list of the 13 best brunch spots in the city. Serving anything from cornbread waffles to bison burgers, D.C. brunches proved to be far from a drag. Taryn Stansberry has more. That's right, Isabella. Brunch is big in D.C. The D.C. list was controversial because there are so many options for good brunch. I went and checked out a couple of the places on the list to see what makes them the best. For a restaurant to survive in a city where weekend brunch is a staple, it has to be unique. So why not have a drag show with your mimosas? And my theory has always been, if it's good enough for the president, it's good enough for me. Local magazine DCist announced a list of the top 13 places for brunch in the district, including Adam's Morgan favorite, Perry's, with its Sunday morning drag show. The list also featured Granville Moore's on H Street. Here, it's about the ambiance and a special niche market. We want it to be dark enough so that if you're, you know, hungover, you can come on in and not have to worry about the glaring lights. Uh, the drinks have to be strong but flavorful enough that you know you don't really feel the night before as much. Many bars in DC also do a weekend brunch so the list is pretty exclusive. And at 8 o'clock in the morning the line is wrapped around the corner for a 1045 show that speaks volumes in itself. There's no need for advertisement. Everybody knows this is the place to be. It takes dedication and love of the job. I love the brunch business. And if nothing else, look for the best mimosas. They really did seem to enjoy their jobs, and that translates over to the customer. If you want to see the full list, go to DCS.com. Back to Isabella and Joni. Dogs, in particular Golden Retrievers, are taking over the District Daily Studio. Stay with us to see why.